Hi guys, this is Mina and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to install SQL Server Management Studio and I'm going to give you a brief introduction as to what SQL Server is all about. So let's get started. In recent years, billions of records of data are generated every day. So the big question now is how do we analyze them? The first software that comes to mind is Excel, but Excel can only store up to 1 million records. Whereas a single SQL database has no maximum number of records, you can keep adding rows until the database runs out of storage space. And it is also easy to organize and retrieve large amount of data from databases. After all, a database is an organized collection of data. Database management systems such as Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, PostgreSQL have database engines that allow us to store and analyze data within databases. Within a database management system such as SQL Server, we can create several user databases to hold tables of data. And it is important to mention that these databases are relational databases. Okay, so we are going to install Microsoft SQL Server. However, I want you to know that there are the free versions and the for sale versions. The developer and express versions are free, whilst the enterprise and standard versions are for sale. Also, the developer and enterprise versions have more features than the other versions in their category. So obviously, if I'm going to install a software that is free, then I'll go for the one that has more features, which is the developer version. SQL Server installation has two components. We have the SQL Server, which is the database engine that stores, secures, and processes the data. We also have the SQL Server Management Studio, which provides us with the graphical interface for us to write our SQL queries. A single complete installation of a SQL Server is called an instance. We are going to install the 2019 developer edition of Microsoft SQL Server, which is the latest edition at the time of this video creation. Search for download SQL Server and click on the first link. Here, go to developer and click on download now. Once you've downloaded, start the installation. And this is the page where you get to either go ahead with the default basic installation option or choose to customize your installation. There is also the download media option that allows you to download all the installation to a local folder. So I'll go ahead and customize my installation. And here we are going to install it in our C drive, which is fine with me. You can select which location you want to save your installation. So I'll click on install here. And then it takes me to the installation. So I'll click on installation from here. And click on new SQL Server installation. All right. So we're going to select the developer edition we have other editions here as you can see but we're going to go with the developer edition click on next and accept the line systems and go to next here if you want microsoft to update and check for upgrade for you you can check it but i'll go ahead without checking this option on this page, the installer checks for potential problems that may occur whilst you're running your setup. If any of these options fails, you must correct them. As you can see, I have Windows Firewall warning, which is fine. I can go ahead with that. But if that bothers you and you want to fix this issue, just go to your start menu and type the word run open firewall.cpl and click on OK and go to turn Windows Firewall on and off. So by turning off the Windows Defender, that error should be corrected. 
right now i don't want to turn them off so i'll just leave it as it is this is fine so i'll go to next and here select the options that apply to you i'm just going to expand this page a little bit so we have database engine services and this is the core database engine and so in, it must be selected sql server replication includes set of technologies for creating a replica of the database from one database to another. So I need that. I'm going to check it. So you can go through the list and check and uncheck the options that you want to apply. So I'm just going to check the ones that I want. Just going to select everything and go to next. Here you have the option to either accept the default instance or name an instance A named instance is what i'm going to choose copy the same here and go to next go to next again i'm not going to change any of the configuration here so i'm going to click on next and here you can either log in with your windows credential or provide a login detail so i'm gonna so i'm gonna choose the miss mode that allows me to provide a password add current user and go to next so here because i selected analysis services it's asking me which analysis service i want tabla mode is fine with me so i'm gonna add current user here and go to next go to next again next 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 I chose R under my instance features, so I'm just have to, I just have to accept the terms and conditions for R and go to next. Do the same for Anaconda, Python, and go to next. Our SQL Server is now ready for installation, so I'll click on install. Now our installation is complete and successful. So I'll close this window. So I'll go ahead and install my SQL Server Management Studio. That would allow me to write my SQL code in SQL Server. After installing the SQL Server, go to Google and type download SQL Server Management Studio and click on the MSDN link. Here we are going to download SQL Server Management Studio, also known as SSMS. This is the graphical interface that allows us to write our SQL codes. So I'll click on download and install the app that I've just downloaded. Once it's done, you can click on the close or restart your computer. From the start menu, search for Microsoft SQL Server Tools and launch. We install the name server. So this is the name server that I provided during the installation. And since I chose SQL authentication, I'll provide my login and password as well. The login is SA, which stands for Systems Administrator. And the password is the password we provided during the installation. So we have our Microsoft SQL Server installed here. And as you can see, we have databases folder, which is currently empty. We can create several databases in this SQL Server instance and they will all reside under this databases folder so within the databases that's where we can create tables if you want to learn how to create databases and tables click on the link above to watch my previous videos all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you so much for staying with me on this video and i hope you've learned a lot see you in my next video bye bye